Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to another Solo Saturday video. We are back and we're going to be taking on the Black Spindle once again. This is the last character I have to do to complete it and we're going to be taking a look at how you can complete it using the Hunter. So we're going to see what I used as far as my Hunter's uh, weapons and armor and also his abilities. We'll go through a quick rundown of that and then I'll show you the gameplay. So first off, I am using the Blade Dancer. And these are the perks I was going with. So the ones that I would say are the important ones is I've got the uh, Hungering Blade, which gives me the immediate health regeneration with Arc Blade and Blink Strike kills. Um, other than that, you can kind of spec it out however you want. Now I need that because there are a lot of times where I need that health regeneration, as you'll see when we run through the um, gameplay. So for my primary, I'm switching it up this time, I'm going with the Zalo Supercell. Now the reason I'm going with this weapon is because of its special or its exotic perks. Uh, it has that perk where it can chain uh, lightning to all enemies when they're in close proximity, which happens quite a bit in this mission. And then the other one is it also it helps to increase my super energy. The more supers I get, the better off I'm going to get in this part of the mission, uh, towards the end where you get into that room with all the Taken. So the next gun we've got, we got just a legendary shotgun. Um, important thing that you want to do if you are going to try to mimic this is you want it to have solar burn. And if you have a uh, full auto, that also helps. You know, you want it to be fast firing and you want it to be solar burn because a lot of the enemies in the taken rooms have solar shields. So this will help take those um, shields down pretty quickly. Next up, we are going with the machine gun from the raid this is the heavy machine gun from the hard mode raid and the reason i'm using this again it's a heavy i or it's heavy it's a solar um i'm a big fan of the slower firing machine gun so that's one other reason i picked this but the big purpose of this is the cocoon perk uh, the fact that i do not have to reload this weapon saves me a ton of time especially this is a timed mission at the end any time that you can save is very much appreciated so those are the weapons I'm going with. So then we will take a look at the armor. So as far as the helmet, just going with the legendary helmet. The reason I'm going with this one is it has this perk right here, Inverse Shadow. Like I said, it's all about getting those supers recharged as quick as possible. So with Inverse Shadow, all kills on enemies of the darkness will increase my super. Um, next up, going with the Warden's Rally. The uh, reason for this is... I got the auto rifle loader. So, auto rifle loader. Since I'm using the uh, Zalo Supercell auto rifle, I wanted to go with the, the um, gloves over here that did an auto rifle loader. If you have gloves that do a shotgun reload, I don't think I have any that I had available. No, I don't. Um, shotgun reloader would also be helpful because you're going to be using that shotgun a lot, and if you can reload that quicker, even better. Now, as far as the chest piece, you definitely want to go with the ATS-8 Tarantella, uh, especially since you're going with Blink Strike. This thing cuts down on the super recharge rate, and as I've been saying the whole time through specking this character out, you want those supers to come back as quickly and as frequently as possible, so the fact that this exotic chest piece cuts down on the super recharge time, uh, that just, like I said, just helps recharge those supers. And... Another bonus here is it has the increased shotgun ammo. Since since I am using a shotgun in the special slot, having that extra shotgun ammo will be nice. And then as far as the boots, any boots will do. Um, if you're using a machine gun, you want to get this perk here and carry some extra ammo. You know you want to carry as much ammo for that special and your heavy as possible. So we're taking care of that with the chest piece. We got the extra shotgun ammo. And then with the boots, we've got the heavy, uh, extra heavy animal, ammo. So I know this is not the best setup, but my other two characters I ran through, I did use swords, and I wanted to try to switch things up this time and see if I could complete it using a different set of weapons. So this is the character, guys. This is how I ran through it. Make sure you hit that like button if you do enjoy this video. Let me know in the comment section down below. Were you able to complete this? Did you get that black spindle yet? Uh, we've got one more week till Rise of Iron. Maybe it'll be get uh, it'll get easier once that happens. Uh, who knows? Maybe they'll up the uh, difficulty for these enemies in the Black Spindle mission to stay equal to your light level. I guess we'll find out in a couple of weeks. But thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you, uh, like I said, hit that like button. And if you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in a couple of days in the Rise of Iron.
rest. We'll claim every house, consume every banner. You must stand, Guardian. Yes, or all shall fall.